Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been a very very long time since I put up a video but I have uh, been not feeling so good and I've been to uh, the hospital for a few weeks so this is the reason why all of my videos are coming in late but I still wanted to do a uh, May empties because I have a lot of them and yeah so I'm just gonna dig right into the trash I guess. Uh, the first empty I have here is a little bit disgusting, but it's a huge one, and it is a body cream from Akko uh, called Mini Derm with 20% glycerol, which means it's extra fat. This is what this look this one looks like, and it has 500 grams in it. It is a humongous bottle, but I really, really like this. I will probably repurchase it. It's quite expensive, and you can only buy this in pharmacies. This is for extremely sensitive slash dry skin and as you can see it is all emptied out so I have scraped this puppy out and I would definitely recommend this to anybody who has really dry skin. This is mm, doesn't smell anything special, it's just is a really thick rich and fat cream for dry hair. Oh, dry skin. I'm losing my language here. The next thing I have in here is a nail polish remover by Agent M. This is what the bottle looks like. It was 150 milliliters. It lasted me a long time, but I will not be repurchasing this one because I did not find it very efficient. I think it took me way too long to remove my uh, nail polish and I had to rub and rub and rub. So it wasn't good. I will not be buying a new one of these. And the next thing I have in here is actually one of my favorite products, or used to be, and now I don't know how I feel about it because it's really expensive. And this is an Beauty Pacific Extra Dry Skin Fix, Extremely Moisturizing and Repairing Cream. This is what the packaging looks like, and it is supposed to be for a hand cream for extra dry skin. And I really like the formula and everything, it has 120 milliliters in it. But it is really expensive. It's around 300 or maybe 400 Swedish crowns, which is a lot of money for a hand cream. And this time, I don't know what happened to it, but it broke. The thing you're supposed to screw the cap on, it's still left in there because I don't know how this happened, but it just dissolved from the opening here. And I did get everything out of it, and I have it in a little smaller container, the little last bits that I have left, but because the packaging broke and it costs so much money and you buy it only in like the most expensive stores here in Sweden so I just don't feel like it's worth the money if the packaging is gonna break before the product is over uh, so I will be trying to find something cheaper and better alternative to this one uh, after this one then next thing I have in here is just a regular hand soap perfumely mildly perfumed Excuse my language, it's not there right now. Uh, 350 milliliters, this is what the packaging looks like. I got this one as a gift with purchase from the Heart Pharmacy. Um, yeah, because I am customer there a lot, unfortunately. Uh, and the next thing I have in here is from Yves Rocher, or however you pronounce, I think we established, I cannot pronounce that company's name. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And it is Foot Beauty Care uh, Anti-Fatigue Ice Gel. This is what the packaging looks like and it is just what it says it is. Really minty, lavender kind of smell. Uh, quite unusual if you ask me, but I really appreciate it and like it a lot. Um, the, what this does is when you put it on your feet, it like almost immediately cools down your feet. Like you feel this tingly cold sensation on your feet and I really like this after working a lot uh, when my feet are swollen I use this and it's perfect like it moisturizes it softens and it really like makes your puffy feet go down in size so I would recommend it I will definitely be repurchasing this at some point again the next thing in, I have in here is a deep cleansing nose strip from Pure Derm and it was just one strip in this one and yeah, it's one of these that you put on your nose and they're supposed to remove stuff. And it does. It's okay. 
will probably repurchase again. I still have some of those left. Uh, and then I have a sample here from Eve's Watcher again. Pure light, light and luminous foundation, second skin effect. This is what this one looks like. And this one is in beige 200. I liked it. It was okay. Will I purchase it? No, because I don't use foundation that much. This little sample, which is one milliliter or 0 0.03 fluid ounces, can last me for a week if I use it every day. So, do I use a lot of stuff on my skin? No. Do I like my skin the way it is? Yes. If I get this for free, will I use it? Probably. Will I buy it? No. Um, and then another sample. This one is So Elixir Purple from Eve's Watcher or the perfume. This is what this one looks like. Was not my cup of tea. I really didn't like this smell at all. Will not be purchasing. And another sample from Eve's Watcher. Do you, can you tell that I buy a lot of stuff from there? Because I get so many samples. And this is Oval Lifting um, Anti-Slacking Redefining Care for Face and Neck Day Cream. One milliliter. This is what the packaging kind of looks like. And yeah, it was okay. Will not be purchasing it. These creams from Eve's Watcher, they cost so much money. Like, it's crazy. And... I just don't think they're that special. I like I have Nivea. It works perfect. I really like Nivea and for me if I get it for free, yes. Will I buy it? No. And then I have some perfumes here. I have a perfume that I bought <laughs> Oh my god, what's happening to my voice? That I bought in Croatia and this one is called I Love You or the Toilet and it looks like a little heart. This is what this one looks like, can you see it? And it is completely empty now, uh, I cannot repurchase it. it. I bought it in Croatia, so if I see it there, when I, there some, at some point again, maybe, but it was nice, I had it in my bag and now it's over. Our lovely, re lovely relationship is over. It smelled really good though. Oh, I wish there was one more left, but no. Sadly, but no. And then I have a mm, perfume sample here from, it's called Optimus, maybe there was a tea at there at some point, or the toilet for women. I don't know where this is from, actually, I cannot read what this used to be. I had it for so long, the text on the bottle actually rubbed off. It was not my type of smell anyway, so I will not be purchasing it. And then the last two things I have are two mascaras actually. And one of them is the Dior Extase, Dior Show Extase. Uh, and it is a little one, 4ml sample. This is what the packaging looks like. And I got this as a birthday gift last year for my sister together with some other, like a travels kit from Dior. And I was so excited and I saved it and I am so sad that I saved it and used other in between because it dried out on me. Uh, so by the time I opened it to use it, it was already dried out. I could use it maybe two or three times and even then it was too dry. This is what the wand looks like. It's an okay, really, really big brush. It was really messy to apply and it was a lot of work for nothing because it was already dried out so I will not be purchasing this one anytime soon I was so disappointed and so sad that I got n no use out of this at all actually and the last one I have here is another mascara this is from Une Une yeah the companies they just keep giving me names I cannot pronounce smart length mascara uh, in brown SO3 this is what the packaging looks like. And this is the company Une, Une, Un, I don't know. This is supposed to be organic. 98.7% are from natural origin. So this is supposed to be really good stuff. But I got this on sale and the same thing as the worst thing. I saved it. Was you going to use it? And it dried out. So... I got no use out of this one at all. This is what the wand looks like. It's nothing special. Yeah, not happy. 
got zero use out of it because it was already dried out when I opened it. So, yeah, complete waste of money. Uh, I really like Dior mascaras usually, but it was so sad that this one dried out on me and this one was a complete waste of money because even though I bought it on sale, it was still a lot of money. It was almost as expensive as some of the cheaper mascaras are when they are new. And I prefer like Maybelline and stuff like that than this one and no use out of this one so that was sad. And those were all of my products. I took you through this video quite fast actually. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.